This is Twit. So what can I do for you, Carl? Well, my question is, um, I hear everyone talking now about the whole crypto coin thing, which seems like almost like a modern-day gold rush. Ah, and yeah, or a pyramid scheme, depending on your point of view, yes. Exactly. Every, everywhere you go, you have a, a different opinion. And my question to you is, is this just a scheme? Is this something that's going to take off? I, my friend told me about something called Kanye West. Which is, I guess, <laughs> yeah, Kanye Coin West has his own cryptocurrency now. Yeah. Ah. And I'm going, should I invest in this? No. Should I buy a computer? Well... Okay, let's talk a little bit about it. So the uh, it's a, it's kind of a, a a deep subject, and I don't know if I can do this in a few minutes in a in a credible way. But if I'm I'm holding up a dollar bill, is yeah. that is that what is that worth? It's a piece of paper, and really, it's not worth anything. It's a piece of paper, but we value it be, with the, what they call the full faith and credit of the United States government, because the U.S. government says a dollar bill is worth a dollar. Uh, but that's what we sure. call a fiat currency. It's based on faith. Uh, the and I know I can go get an apple for it. So. And and Me. because we all agree that that's worth a dollar, it works. But it isn't worth anything, really. It's a piece of paper. It's uh, it's So all currency is to some degree fiat currency. A guy about 10 years ago, uh, a guy or a group of guys we don't know, uh, obscured in the mists of anonymity, named Satoshi Nakamoto, came up with something call, uh, called a, a cryptocurrency called Bitcoin. And the idea was that, it, like a dollar bill, it is an imaginary amount of money, but if we all agree it's worth something, we can use it to buy stuff, to trade stuff. The only difference between cryptocurrencies and, and a U.S. dollar is there's no government backing it. Whether that needs to be, for a currency to work, I don't know. You know, there was, used to be Disney bucks, right? Uh, you know, and if, it's, if you can get something for it, and, it, and we all agree you can, then it's worth something. The, the, the idea behind cryptocurrency is very interesting. These, the, first of all, uh, it's anonymous. Just as cash is truly anonymous, cryptocurrencies are as well. You can give somebody a Bitcoin without them knowing who you are and vice versa. Um, you have a Bitcoin wallet that is simply a bunch of bits, doll, you know, computer code, uh, you can lose it. Somebody can steal your wallet and get your secret key, and then they can get your money. Um, there's no central bank, no central authority at all. In fact, Nakamoto disappeared. Probably, I would guess, with a fairly large, a very, fairly hefty number of Bitcoins in his digital wallet. And that's why some say this is a pyramid scheme. People who get in early on, of course... Uh, if 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 it's decided that Bitcoin is worth something, and it's been as worth as much as twelve hundred dollars a coin, uh, I'm just going to check Mount Gox, which is one of the Bitcoin exchanges, and see what it's worth right now. You can get an up to the minute uh, valuation. Mount Gox will buy Bitcoins for uh, U.S. dollars. In fact, they'll give you one thousand fifteen dollars for each Bitcoin. Oh the, way you, the way you get Bitcoins is either somebody gives you one or you can generate them. And this is true of uh, Coinye West. This is true of Dogecoin, true of Litecoin. There are a number of these cryptocurrencies. In general, all of them work the same way. Your computer has to solve a very difficult problem. It's kind of hit or miss. If you're lucky and the computer solves the problem, you will get some number of coins. My friend Steve Gibson, very early in the Bitcoin days, just said, oh, this be fun. They call it mining. He did some Bitcoin mining, which involves running a program on your computer. Boom, like in the first day, it got 50 Bitcoins. That's worth $50,000 right now. A couple of investors in Bitcoin, and there are some big investors like the Winklevoss twins. You remember their name, the Winklevoss twins? They, were, they sued Mark Zuckerberg saying, hey, we invented Facebook. A couple of very wealthy uh, boys, uh, Harvard kids, uh, they've invested heavily in Bitcoin. They say they believe Bitcoin will get to $40,000 a coin. Well, if that's true, then Steve Gibson's 50 Bitcoins are going to be worth millions. I have seven Bitcoins. Even I am going to be fairly wealthy based on that. I hope it's true. <laughs> I'll take it. On the other hand, there's nothing to stop Bitcoin from being worth nothing. Because it's all imaginary. <laughs> But the same thing can happen to a U.S. dollar. It's just that the, the U.S. government do, isn't, doesn't look like it's likely to go away anytime soon. So 
Kanye West's coins or Bitcoins or Litecoins or Dogecoins, are th do those have any value? Well, only if we all agree. Could they go to zero? Absolutely. There's no government agency. In fact, one thing that could do very poorly for Bitcoin is if governments start banning it. The Chinese government has banned Bitcoin. They say the use of Bitcoin is illegal in China. When you have a central planned economy, of course, the idea of independent currencies could be very scary. So they've banned it. Uh, if, if the U.S. did the same thing, I don't think that's likely. But if for, for some reason the Federal Reserve said, you know, we don't, this Bitcoin could undermine our own currency and the Congress passed a law against it, Bitcoin would go to zero. And, and if you'd invested, I wouldn't invest in Bitcoin. I wouldn't go out and buy Bitcoins at this point. That's crazy. Unless you can afford it and it's speculative. And so let's say you buy 10 Bitcoins at $10,000. If you can afford to lose $10,000, hey, it's possible those 10 Bitcoins will be end up worth being worth $400,000 if the Winklevoss twins have their way. It's also maybe even more possible that they'll be worth nothing. It's interesting to watch. I don't know what it means. I really don't. Would I recommend investing in it? Absolutely not.